There are two types of COVID-19 tests currently available. There's the PCR test, which is very sensitive, but requires a number of hours to develop it. And of course, requires large amounts of investment in materials, reagents and resources. The alternative test is the lateral flow test that has a lower sensitivity um, and only picks up people that have high viral loads. Lateral flow tests are easy and quick to use. They deliver a result in about 20 minutes, but they're really very insensitive because they only detect people who have very high viral loads. What we've developed is a different kind of test that detects intact viral particles. And this involves using a swab like you would for something like the lateral flow or the PCR, um, and then you insert it into a cartridge. And within five minutes, develop uh, the result such that we can inform people whether or not they are either positive or negative, and indeed, if they're positive, the, the extent of their viral load. It is significantly faster than the PCR test and does not require a lab environment to be done in. It is very sensitive and has a sensitivity approaching that of PCR, which means that it will detect people who are both pre-symptomatic or who may not have a very high viral load. But most importantly, it detects intact virus. And that means that it will only detect or only identify those people who are actively have an infection and won't give a positive result where all that it is being detected are residues of viral infection from several weeks ago, for example. So the test works by fluorescently labeling viral particles in a sample. There is a fluorescent dye which is targeted to the proteins that are present on the surface of each viral particle. It then moves in front of a very sensitive detector which in the presence of light allows it to see each viral particle passing in front of a viewing window. Um, this is then detected uh, through the machine which gives a reading of the amount of viral matter present and gives you a measure of low, medium or high so you can have an idea of just how infectious you are at any given time. So this is aimed at places uh, such as your GP practice and hospitals, so your primary point of care. Long term, this could then be developed to be used in places such as airports or uh, arenas. Well, this is a transformative technology. Uh, the world needs to get back to what is a post-COVID normal. So with this kind of technology, it will become much more simple and straightforward to undertake these kinds of tests and get us back to a normal state.